As rewarding as caring can be, it can also be really hard. The person you care for may get frustrated by their situation, or their condition may cause mood swings or behaviour that is beyond their control. These times can be very stressful, and you may feel completely overwhelmed, but there are steps you can take to make things more manageable. Here are some tips that carers have recommended to help you cope with challenging behaviour. Understanding the triggers of the challenging behaviour may help you to avoid difficult circumstances. For example, crowded spaces can cause some people intense anxiety. Try keeping a record or journal of what events lead to difficulties. This can also come in handy when talking to professionals. Lots of carers find it helpful to use comforters, such as music or scented candles, to create a calming environment for the person they care for. It's not always easy, but some carers find it useful to try to stick to a regular daily routine to help create a calming environment where everybody knows what to expect. If the person you care for is distressed very often, it may mean that their current treatment and care plan needs reviewing. Sometimes, an appointment with a mental health specialist can help to improve the situation. It's important to remember to look after your own physical and mental well-being at all times. If the person you care for is becoming physically demanding or abusive and you feel like you can't cope, contact social services and your doctor to let them know you need more support. This can sometimes feel very difficult when it's someone close, but it's an important step to make sure that everybody is kept safe and supported. It's crucial to call 999 if you ever feel in immediate danger. You can often find support from organisations that specialise in the condition of the person you care for. They may be able to offer detailed advice on how to address the specific challenges you're facing. Your GP may also be able to refer you for support through a carer's centre, social care services or a specialist. Lots of carers find it helpful to chat with other carers. This can be a good way to find emotional support and advice from those who have been in a similar situation. The Carers Connect platform is a good place to start. To find out more about coping with challenging behaviour, visit carersuk.org or email advice at carersuk.org. Whatever you're going through, we're always here to help.